Hello, this is Magic, and today's tutorial is going to be uh, focused on getting players playing time, uh, specifically the freshmen who have just joined your roster. We want to try to get those guys into those two exhibition games after signing so that they can get maximum playing time to basically kickstart their uh, work ethic and enhance all their other core attributes as well. So there are a variety of ways to do this. The way I've been doing it and what I have found proves quite successful for me is really simple in, in the mindset of keeping things to their basic level. For instance, in your formation, with this particular team, I'll be running an I formation. So if we look in our formations, that default I formation has the generic or base position names, quarterback, offensive line, we use those generic ones. We don't use QB user one, guard, center, possession, fullback, receiver, whatever the case may be in this formation. You can, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I say we stick with the basics here. As far as the number of values goes, that's all generic. We really don't care about winning or losing or who's uh, getting the ball. Our primary focus is just getting people in the game. So remember, the formation is the default I formation. That's how it'll show up in our playbook opportunity as well. Speaking of which, let's go to playbook. When we look in our playbooks, I've named it preseason. This is the one that I'll be using for the purpose of getting those freshman playing times. And I've also uh, found that I can use this throughout the season uh, periodically in certain game situations to get those freshmen back in the game and get them playing time. Now remember I said uh, use that generic I formation and that's what you see here the I formation. Um, again 50% rush, 50% pass, play calling inside outside, where the passes get distributed. None of that matters to me because again I'm not about winning or losing. I want to get guys in the game. So I'm making sure that uh, wide receivers and um, running backs everybody's getting their fair share of playing time and I do this not just for first down on long medium and short I just leave it the same all the way through because again it doesn't matter if I'm winning or losing let's just get those guys playing time so now we have discussed that the formation is I formation and we're going to use that basic default I formation we've embedded it into our playbook which you see here with the I formation name that means that those positions are the ones that will be uh, used for this playbook. And that's important because when we go to our game plan, we want to make sure that the preseason playbook, that's what we named it, is what we're actually running. And as you can see for the playbook, in the main winning, losing, tied, overtime, it doesn't matter. I've got those uh, filled with the preseason playbook. That means that the situation of the game is not going to change which guarantees that those basic I formation positions will be filled by my freshmen and will be playing throughout the entirety of the game unless they get so tired that they end up coming out. Um, speaking of which let's look at that depth chart because that's the final piece in this entire puzzle and that is where you'll see those generic names that we talked about in the formation your quarterback, your running back, your wide receiver, not your QB1 or your uh, fullback or your wide receiver deep. We put the freshman at the top of the generic or the base position list. So that's where you'll find Walden. He's my freshman. And then second is Jackson. He's a sophomore. I try to stream it down so that they can uh, get the guys that have been on the roster previously a little playing time as well and we'll carry it over to the running backs to show you how that's set up there I've got a freshman Wilson he's in that running back position um, linebackers I think I've signed three linebackers and that would be Nelson Sims and Russell and that's who you find in the first three positions there so what that essentially means is that the formation will use these three players to fill those slots. The playbook will use that I formation to execute the playbook and the game plan will use that preseason playbook to run throughout the entirety of the game. 
The other component to all of this is your roster. That is where you will see the uh, substitution levels, 85. That They're going to get pretty tired at 85, and I expect Walden to stay in the game uh, pretty much the entirety, so he'll get an overabundance of playing time. Let's look at those linebackers that I mentioned earlier, those three guys. As you see, the substitution level is 85 on this. This is all part of the preseason stuff. So a new team, I don't care about winning or losing, just want to get everybody max playing time. Now, the little caveat that I'll throw in here, and that comes into the game plan portion. This is nothing to do with the preseason stuff. Uh, this is simply what I discovered a long time ago, and I have been using it ever since. A lot of times, if I'm winning a ball game, and I want to get my uh, freshmen some more playing time, I'll actually include one of these optionals that you don't have available at D3 that you do at D2 and above. And option one, I designated as if I'm winning by 25 points or more with 15 minutes to go in the half, that's your second quarter or your fourth quarter, um, to go ahead and select that preseason playbook because now when that situation occurs, my let's say that I was using something else as a playbook like an inside run or a run and shoot or whatever you would see here regardless of what those were when I got up by 25 points in either the second or fourth quarter my preseason playbook would kick in and those freshmen would come in now of course once you know the score decreased and I was no longer winning by 25 let's say I was winning by 23 um, but it was 13 minutes to go in the game that doesn't fit either of these qualifiers so it would revert back to your main and my regular starters would come back into the game and then it would run until one of these options were met if I had them ticked so just a hint you can do this both on offense and defense and again it's just a method of getting some of your uh, freshmen in the ball game especially when you're playing sims that's when this comes really important when I'm playing another human uh, I generally don't try to do this because you know I'm worried more about winning and losing versus getting those freshmen uh, their playing time. And you can also use your uh, substitution level to get freshmen in the game a little bit more. Um, so just as a quick recap to make this all work, first and foremost set up the formation. In this case I'm using I and always use your default. Always use your generic settings here for your positions versus using the actual special identifier to break out those positions somewhat and then make sure that in your uh, game plan that your game plan has the playbook that you'll be using which is preseason and then make sure in that playbook the actual um, preseason playbook that you're actually using the formation that is generic that you identified earlier in this case the I formation and again I don't worry about filling all this in because it's all about playing time so hopefully that helped in some way shape or form and if you've got any questions just let me know and best of luck